We've got team coverage tonight with News 10's Lonnie Rivera at the scene. But let's begin with Natalie Sen. She is live at the Veterinary Hospital for the latest on Bodie's condition. Natalie? Christina, he's not doing very well right now. Everyone's trying to see, see if he pulls through. He lost a lot of blood. He had two surgeries today, and he might even need more. His jaw, like you said, is shattered. He also has a fractured paw. They don't know how many times he was shot, but out here right now, you can see there's a lot of support waiting to see if he pulls through. A lot of different canine units who are just trying, trying to see if he survives. We have a few pictures of Bodie. Some we recently got in. He is three years old and has been a canine officer with the Sacramento Police Department for a year and a half. He is one of about eight or, or eight or nine canine officers on the department, and you might even recognize him as That's, our crew funny. did a story on him and his handler I last was, September. Was, uh, this video of, is of him working, but because he needs his mouth to do his job, even if he survives, his career could be over. Right now, the main goal, of course, is to get him to just live through the next crucial few hours where dozens of police have been coming and going all day long, checking on his condition because he is much more than a hard-working dog. He's a faithful member of their department. It's just like a family member. Uh, we spend actually more time with our uh, canine partners than we do the rest of our family because they, uh, they come home with us at night, so they're with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If it wasn't for uh, the dog getting shot, it potentially could have been an officer chasing him, and that officer could have been shot. So I think, you know, Bodie could have saved somebody's, an officer's life today. Back out your live Bodie's handlers, Officer Randy Van Dussen. Officers say he will likely come out here to spend the night. The vet says, however, that it could be a week before Bodie can be released. And after that, they said up to maybe three months if everything works out perfectly before he does very well, or at least could possibly go back on the street. Now this, I brought this out because I found this on the counter inside the veterinary office. This is Bodie. And it shows that all of these are the canine dogs. It shows that this is where they come specifically to be treated, to be looked after. So you've got the best of the best who knows how important it is to get this canine back on the streets. And they said he might eventually also be transferred to UC Davis for procedures in the future. But again, we're just going to wait and see how tonight goes. We're putting live in Sacramento. Natalie Sense, News 10. All right. Well, he's getting the best possible yeah. care. So we will just hope he pulls through. Yeah, Thank you.